What's going on everyone, Juan Valdez here and today I wanted to make this quick video showing you guys a free resource you guys can use to find trending products literally right from your phone. And so for some of you guys that have been following me along either on Instagram or Snapchat, you probably have been seeing how I've been posting about me going through Google AdWords training and learning more about Google and how to advertise on the platform. And so obviously when it comes to e-commerce running any online business, you want to make sure you're advertising on all possible platforms. So obviously you already advertise on Facebook, but we aren't doing too much on Google. So we want to make sure we obviously learn all the ins and outs of the platform and use it as well. You know, when it comes to Shopify dropshipping, you want to make sure that you know what kind of products you're going after, right? Are you going after seasonal products that only do well on a certain time of the year? Or are you going after products that have a demand throughout the whole year, right? The reason why it's important to understand what kind of products you're going after is so if you are going to go after seasonal products, you're prepared for whenever the season stops or goes away for that product. Like for example, now we're going into summer. After the summer, I want to make sure that I'm prepared and I have products lined up that I can test right after the summer times. Because if you're only going after seasonal products let's say you only want the products that are going to do really well in the summer and then you're going to kind of stop and then go after products that are going to do really well during the winter time well that's going to throw off your momentum and obviously when you're running an e-commerce business you want to make sure that you have constant momentum right because you have constant products you can advertise and test and that way you're not going through like an upward phase on your you know your e-commerce business and then you know dying off for a good portion of time and then again going back up uh in that upward trend once that season comes around and so there's nothing wrong with doing that with going only after seasonal products but you just want to make sure that you know uh, what kind of products you're going after that way you can arrange and you know plan accordingly uh, the free resource you guys can use is going to allow you guys to see basically the volume and demand that your product has either throughout that specific season if it's a seasonal product or throughout the year if it's a product that has demand throughout the whole year that resource that you guys are going to be able to use is google trends so if you go right here on google I just pulled it up on the, my phone, Google Trends. You can literally come on here and you're gonna be able to see things that are trending, you know, in different places, right? And you're gonna be able to see different topics, different topics that are trending and a whole lot more. And obviously Google has a ton of data, so this is, you know, pretty accurate as far as like things that are trending. And so what you could do is for literally any single niche or kind of product that you're thinking about going after, you can literally take the keyword. For example, right now we know that summertime is coming around, so we can search up summer related products right so we can search up like sunglasses and see what kind of demand you know that term search term has on google so i put in sunglasses you can see that the graph here kind of how it goes so right here we're in may and if we go right here it kind of picks up so it looks like it picks up around summertime but then around the winter time it kind of dies out after when it comes back to spring and summertime then it kind of goes back up which makes perfect sense because that's when glasses and sunglasses are more most needed obviously for that product in particular like sunglasses it's pretty easy to kind of narrow down whether it's a seasonal product or not what you guys can do is go on here and just double check and reference to see if they're what kind of products you're going after and what kind of demand those products have and that way you can always plan accordingly right that way you know what kind of products you can always advertise depending on what time of the year it is because it is important to advertise products or go after products that you know are needed at certain times of the year at least for seasonal products right obviously if it's a different kind of product that has demand throughout the whole year then that's a little bit different and also what's pretty cool about google trends is that if you go on here you can also find products that have high demand based on what kind of parts of the world they're in right so for different countries you can see you can find products on there you can see different products that have demand in different parts of the world and that's obviously super important because when you're driving your traffic you want to make sure that you're driving traffic to uh, the right parts of the world that actually has demand for that product google helps out a ton with that and honestly google has a ton of different information on here that you guys can you know check out you can look up related searchings based on that keyword related topics related to that keyword and a whole lot more so that's pretty much it for this video i don't want to make it too long it's pretty basic you guys it is a great resource to utilize i literally utilize it uh, right on my phone sometimes when i'm out and about and i find products that pique my interest and i kind of want to know more about and see like how they would potentially do so try it out let me know how it goes if you guys picked up a thing or two from this video make sure you drop a like i would highly appreciate it and of course if you guys have any other questions about you know using google trends make sure you drop it in the comments below i'll get back to you guys and of course if you haven't already joined the family smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace